The vision of every country is to empower its citizens and end poverty. This has been the vision for Zambia as well. In order to eliminate poverty, there is need for a well-developed financial sector committed to supporting the economic empowerment activities that are being driven by government. Realizing that commercial banks in Zambia were not able to provide adequate support towards the developmental projects being implemented by government, the Development Bank of Zambia was established in 1972 through an Act of Parliament. The bank was created as a joint venture between the government, public sector financial institutions, the local private sector and foreign institutions. The mandate for the bank was to support the economic development of Zambia and to provide for matters incidental to or connected with the foregoing. The Development Bank of Zambia was enacted by the Act of Parliament in 1972 and became operational in 1974. Uh, since then, the bank has been delivering on its mandate, which is to finance different projects uh, to Zambian enterprises. We have various uh, types of products that the bank gives out and we have a criteria. We give out loans to those which meet the criteria. The Development Bank of Zambia has a vision to be Zambia's preferred development finance partner. And the mission is to provide competitively priced tailor-made financial, technical, and advisory solutions to viable local enterprises as a catalyst in economic development. Our vision is to be um, a preferred uh, development finance institution uh, in the country. As a matter of fact, we want to be a preferred finance uh, partner uh, in the Zambian economy. So that means we want to um, uh, be the most sought after uh, service provider in the financial markets. Um, uh, for obvious reasons, we want to um, um, develop uh, the economy by being the, um, that institution that offers services that uh, people um, uh, would always go to get. As an entity, our values include innovation, customer focus, recognition, effectiveness, diligence, integrity, teamwork, um, the Development Bank of Zambia has uh, come up with a set of values that guide the performance as well as the behavior, the culture of the Development Bank of Zambia uh, staff. Um, this is, these are the values by which we live, so to speak, because we find ourselves uh, as a community uh, and this community of, of, of a special type of bankers has a set of values and norms, a way of life that we live by, uh, anchored on integrity and teamwork. And, and, and so we, 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 we expose these values and we strive to live by the bank's um, um, uh, values. The Development Bank of Zambia offers the following services as a way of contributing to economic development of Zambia. Project Finance. We finance a project based on, on uh, the viability of the particular project. As opposed, this is different from, uh, this is different from corporate finance, which focuses more on the, uh, the balance sheet of the, of, the, of, the, of the company. But in project finance, we specifically look at the project and what cash flows the project is supposed to, would be in a position to generate if it's financed. And based on those cash flows, that's what we use to, that, that's, we expect the, the, the repayments of the project to be based on those cash flows. Uh, and as I mentioned, that is the biggest um, facility that we, that we offer. It, we normally, as I mentioned, we, it normally goes to about, it's, 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 it's usually from me, medium to long term. So usually you find that it's maybe five years to about seven years. Leasing finance. The other common product that we offer is uh, uh, lease financing. Uh, this is mostly for, 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 for purchasing of equipment. Again, with uh, lease financing, we expect the repayments to be made 
from uh, from the cash that is generated from from the equipment that is purchased under the lease. Normally, leasing will normally do it for about three, maybe three to five years. Normally considered as a medium-term loan. Trade finance. Now, trade finance basically involves um, it's a facility basically that facilitates uh, trade, whether import or export of uh, of uh, of goods, and this includes products such as uh, guarantees, uh, bank guarantees. It includes um, possible letters of credit, uh, invoice discounting. Now, these are usually short-term in nature because, as I mentioned, they are just to facilitate trade, maybe to facilitate a particular payment. So you find that um, they're usually maybe 12 months uh, in terms of the tenure. Wholesale lending. Now, wholesale lending is uh, the lending of wholesale of funds to um, selected uh, institutions, usually financial institutions. We have been managing uh, two wholesale lending funds. We, we have one with, the, with, the, with IFAD, the International Fund for Agriculture Development, which is a rural finance facility. Now, the way this works, as, as I mentioned, it's a wholesale fund. So we give the funds to what we, know, what we call participating finance, financial institutions. Uh, for this particular fund, we actually lend to microfinance institutions. Uh, and then they own lend, because I think the rationale behind this is that uh, the microfinance institutions are in a better position to own lend to their much smaller clientele. Uh, maybe I should also mention here that uh, in terms of the size of the funds that we lend, we do have a minimum amount, and that minimum amount is um, currently it's at uh, one million kwacha. Now, for us to deal with the much smaller clients, uh, most of, um, I'm sure you can appreciate that most of them uh, cannot borrow that kind of money. So what we do is we give these funds to these uh, microfinance institutions, and then they on lend them to the, to the agro, agricultural based uh, clients. That's for the rural finance facility. Uh, the other facility that we've had in the past is also the, the enterprise development uh, fund. Uh, this, one, this one was more targeted at the much larger financial institutions, but the principle uh, basically remains the same. Equity participation. Equity participation is uh, we, we invest in, uh, we take a, an equity stake in a, particular, in a particular project. Now obviously the project would have to be of some kind of, uh, in, I think as already mentioned, we, we try and work in line with government's objectives. So you find that if, if a project is of a strategic and of a big developmental importance, you, we might take an equity stake in that and uh, participate. We have done that on, on, on a number of uh, strategically important um, projects. Business advisory services. The other service that we provide is uh, business advisory services. We do advise on um, either through clients who may, who may want to prepare a proposal for, for funding. Uh, we do provide some kind of advisory services. And also because of the, the various sectors and the experiences that we've had with financing uh, the various sectors, uh, we do uh, provide uh, consultancy with regards to financing in those particular sectors. So we actually look at both the working clients who might need uh, some kind of advice and also other advisory, especially to government, if, if government are trying to do, are trying to, are trying to finance uh, a specific project, they do consult us on, uh, on, on those issues. 
working capital facility. Now this is a much shorter, um, shorter term type of financing uh, which focuses more on uh, the working capital of a specific uh, business and it's short term in nature. It's, uh, we, normally give it for about, uh, uh, we normally give it for about 12 months. You'll find that on one hand project finance will focus more on the, on the capital items and then the working capital will provide the funds to ensure that the project uh, runs efficiently. Any limited liability company is eligible to apply for a facility or loan, which may be obtained in Zambian Kwacha or any other internationally eligible foreign currency such as US dollars. These loan amounts range from 1 million Kwacha to 25% of our regulatory capital. The set limits also apply for equivalent loan amounts requested in foreign currency. Other terms are determined on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, the bank has a criteria um, uh, which we have um, outlined in most of our um, um, you know, promotional materials and in most of our um, information as we deal with the public. Uh, our, First and foremost is that we have to have a financially viable project. Uh, that's the big um, uh, uh, criterion on its own because we need to have projects whose cash flows are positive and are able to pay back uh, the bank and retain money to grow their own businesses. So uh, financial viability uh, is key. Uh, we we'll also look at projects that will contribute to economic, social economic growth of the country and those projects would be projects that will save foreign exchange, for instance, projects that will export and earn foreign exchange, projects that will create a minimum of 10 jobs, uh, um, um, you know, as, as, as they get to, to be implemented. So that forms the whole package of the criteria that we, we, we look at when we are considering uh, financing a project. All applications for a facility must be in writing. Prospective clients are advised to make contact for information with regards to application guidelines as we do not have a standard application form. During the 44 years of its existence, DBZ has contributed to the growth of various small and medium enterprises in the manufacturing, mining, agriculture and agro-processing, financial, construction, energy, tourism and hospitality sectors. In the recent past, some of the firms that have been supported by DBZ include Rozo Enterprises. Uh, Rozo Enterprises deals in um, uh, layers, meaning uh, our main business is um, on selling of eggs. Coming to uh, DBZ, they have facilities um, when you compare them to uh, other uh, the, the commercial banks that we have in the country, I would say, one, it's very easy to access. They target on us Zambians, like it has uh, happened to, uh, to me under Rose of Farm. Uh, it has empowered me as a, a Zambian to be where I am and uh, ultimately even to employ those um, uh, 11 uh, people. Silver University. When we bought the piece of land, the next thing was to build. And we looked around. We did not want to get foreign uh, uh, finances because we knew that within Zambia, there was somewhere where we could go and uh, ask for the facility. That is how we approached DBZ. We submitted the, the documents that uh, everyone else normally submit. It went under scrutiny and uh, a facility was uh, given to us. I remember very well the time that we got the facility, it was the time of um, uh, that euro bond, uh, which was a, a, a single uh, uh, rate, interest rate. Uh, but even when you compare, the euro bonds may not be there now, but the facilities for uh, Development Bank of Zambia are there and the interest rate rates are lower than the other commercial banks. And that is the reason why I always say Development Bank of Zambia is to develop the people because if the interest rates were like the same commercial banks, 
then development actually wouldn't be there. So uh, for many Zambians, those that want to develop, my word of advice is for them to approach uh, Bank of, uh, uh, Development Bank uh, of Zambia. Nomad's Court. Uh, when I went to DBZ, actually I, um, I went to see the people, the project manager, and what they told me was you need to write a project and what have you got on the ground. And we need to, it has to be a collateral for you to get the loan. And you still need to make a project. So that's how I had to make the project. And looking at the amount of money, really, I didn't know. It was, it was just a prayer to me, to God, to say, really, will I be empowered with this amount of money, with the one lodge that I have? And I made the project. That's how I submitted it to DBZ. The next thing they came to get pictures and to understand what is my motive. How do I turn around this place, which is, you know, deteriorated? And uh, yeah, I put up my project, submitted it. It took a bit of time. It wasn't short. That's how I had to pursue it. Went, I was bouncing on the doors of DBZ every day. This is what is happening, updating them. And I know, even if the amount is high, I will still make it. If we can have two lodges, I know we can manage. We are able now to take up the 200 people to conference at Nomas 2, which is Chadley, and the employees have added up from 15 to 42. So you can see that I have really supported my own country. I've increased the number of employees, which is what the whole idea for banks to support us is to support our fellow Zambians into employment. Cheetah Lodge in Sanfia. Well, we established Ch Cheetah Lodge in, uh, in uh, 2002, and uh, we, we operated for a considerable period of about 10, 11, 12 years. Then we decided to do an expansion plan into, uh, into, into Luapula on uh, Lake Bangololo in Sanfia. And also, uh, at the same time, we had an opportunity to uh, acquire uh, formerly Rimo, Rimo River Motel in uh, Kafue, which is also under the Cheetah Lodge flagship. I, I applied for a, a loan facility from the Development Bank of Zambia to facilitate for the construction of uh, this particular lodge here in, on Lake Bangaulu in Sampia. And, uh, and, and they, they responded to me favorably and uh, have a good working relationship with them. And uh, as you can see, we've actualized the, the loan facility and built something that that will, will stand the test of time here in Wapola and something that will change the perception of, 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 of places like Sanfia. We, we, we have created the construction jobs, maybe about three, four hundred construction jobs since we started the, uh, the building this place because it's on a hill so everything has to be manually taken up the bricks the sand everything has to be taken manually because it's almost impossible to get a truck on top of the, of the hill so i think dbz is one of those institutions that I, I i commend for for having come forward without them i don't think it would have been possible for me to have been able to do this this project oriental queries we are Shiroko Enterprises. Still, Oriental Quarries is our trading name. Yeah, so basically we've been in this business from 1981 when we started. And we have, we've been growing from time to time until what you see as now. As for DBZ, there were two things that we had. In the production of aggregates, we needed some additional equipment that can increase the production. Before we got this uh, loan from DBZ, we were averaging 2,000 tons a day. So we thought the increasing market, we thought that was not enough. So we needed equipment that can up the production. So we approached the DBZ and they gave us a loan which enabled us to buy dump trucks. So the dump trucks were financed by the DZ, and uh, this has helped us to increase the production from, as I said, the averaging of 2,000 tons a day, we are now able to do 5,000 tons a day, which is a, 
uh, a significant increase. And um, the other financing that came alongside that, there was um, we got some equipment for road construction works. That's why we are now able to get contracts and government contracts. Yalilo Fisheries. After we were introduced to DBZ, they loved the idea and you know, we spoke with them, realized that that was a partnership that could make quite a lot of sense, and we moved forward together. Um, Yalelo took a loan from DBZ and received an equity investment. The loan that we took in 2013 has been entirely repaid, and Yalelo has moved on and is getting financing from other partners, including Zanaco. Uh, for us, that represents a real success for DBZ. As a development bank, having helped a company in its early stages to get financing and then seen that company to grow, to find success and then to be able to move to commercial sources of financing. Uh, I mean, working with an organization like DBZ is a little bit different than working with a commercial bank because they really have a focus on development. About three years after Yalelo received the DBZ financing, the company now has approximately 300 employees and Siavonga, as well as another 75 in Lusaka. Uh, Yalelo is producing anywhere between 15 and 20 tons of fish per day, primarily distributed in Lusaka, but also going into the copper belts, and we are looking at exports into the DRC as well. Yalelo is now the largest uh, producer of fish in Zambia, and in fact is one of the three largest aquaculture companies in Africa. By the end of next year, Yalelo will be the largest aquaculture company in Africa. And we're very proud to be achieving that in Zambia, a country which has a, a strong affinity for fish, especially for bream. Inchilla Beverages. We've spearheaded the Inchilla Beverages project with one aim in mind. Uh, since a child, I've always seen pineapple farmers despondent because they cannot get their product to market and the best solution was to bring the market to the crop and that's what we're doing here by putting in a juicing plant and we're doing it together with pineapple growers it's not just us and we're doing it together with DBZ who have been very helpful uh, I think what I can say with any development project in our country is time is needed so you need flexibility and understanding to produce a project that basically is a, is a poverty reducing uh, industry because you can't just recover your capital straight away. So in, that, in those terms, I think DBZ have been very good. DBZ takes on projects that other banks wouldn't because DBZ is, is about uh, development. That's what it's called, Development Bank of Zambia. So it, it, spearheads projects that other banks won't take because they are a logistical challenge, they are a, a financial challenge and therefore that is what that bank is for, is to have flexibility and understanding so that a, a project can actually go ahead and function and in the end still make what is required. Other firms supported by the Development Bank of Zambia include the ZCF Solar Milling Plants, Kansanshi Hotels in Solwezi, Luapula Oil, Kasama Milling. Truly, the Development Bank of Zambia is living up to its mission of being a catalyst in economic development. For more information, contact us on 0211-228576, 0211-228577, and 0212-617725. You can also visit us at Development House, located at the corner of Katondo and Chachacha Roads in Lusaka. Our Copperbelt office located next to Kafubumo in Indola.